Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we taxi the Unibuilds A310. Now, taxi might sound easy to most of you, but I am sure that there are going to be a couple of details that you will not be aware of. So, when taxi clearance is received, we are going to switch the nose lights on and it is always a good idea to switch the runway turn-off lights on as well because they do illuminate quite a bit of the area next to the aircraft that you would otherwise not be able to see. Release the brakes. And then we can go. Now, you will see that the aircraft at the weight at which we are flying at currently 111 tons is slowly going to start taxiing on its own. But do carry out a quick brake check, make sure that the pressure in here stays at zero. And now that the brakes are checked, we can increase our thrust, but do keep it below 40% N1 for your taxi. That is going to be sufficient for pretty much most of the operation. If you have carried out a manual pushback like I did, it is a very good idea to return the aircraft to the centerline on the earliest opportunity in order not to hit anything that um, you would find next to the protected area. On your first couple of taxis, I would very much recommend to switch to the outside view from time to time to establish when exactly your nose wheel is on the center line, like now. And then you will see that if the taxi line is roundabout on the word input over here of the rudder input um, stop indicator, that is approximately when you are taxiing the airplane exactly on the center line. As we are currently rolling on the aprons, be sure to keep a taxi speed of less than 15 knots. That is the taxi speed limit on the apron. For tight turns, you should follow a maximum speed of 10 knots. On straight lines, we can go up to 30 knots. And if we are backtracking a runway, we are allowed to go as fast as 50 knots, 50. As we are currently operating on the apron, we try to keep our system engagement as low as possible if there is something that you actually have to do like for example you're getting a re-clearance from air traffic control stop the aircraft set the parking brake and only then we are going to start up on our further procedures as we're about to approach the first turn be careful to keep your taxi speed at a maximum of 10 knots you're sitting in a very high position in the a310 and it is easy to underestimate the speed at which you're going. So right now we're doing 9 knots. Steer the cockpit over the center line. And remember that you're sitting very far in front of the nose wheel. So as you can see, right now I overshot by a tiny little bit, but overall it is necessary to steer the airplane's cockpit quite a bit over the actual center line in order to keep the main gears on the center line. Once we are established on a nice outbound track, let's start with our flight control track. I will keep the airplane slow here so that we have time to explain, but on a taxiway like this you would be allowed to go 30 knots. In order to conduct the flight control track, we have to select the uh, flight control page on the ECAM. And now watch carefully that all the indications respond as they are supposed to. Full up. Not the elevator sign going up here. Fall down, down, neutral. Now we go full left, left aileron up, right aileron down, full right, and neutral. In real life, we would also be checking the rudder at this moment. However, for the purpose of our simulation, since the rudder is tied to the tiller, if I was about to do that, we would see the airplane turn like this now. So, we are going to skip the rudder check for this purpose. Finally, deselect the associated ECAM page and then we are all set to go. For a quick review of our takeoff briefing, which I would really recommend you to do here as well. So, we've set the FCU up for our departure. The takeoff is taking us via an RNAV SID, so NAV mode is selected and we're on NAV mode here as well. 
and we do have profile mode armed so that we basically have the airplane doing everything for us. Note that any builds themselves have already said that the A310 does not have a very precise profile mode, so don't compare it, for example, to the VNAV and the Boeing 737. Things are all a little bit more sluggish here, which is why going to level change could potentially help occasionally. When your takeoff briefing is reviewed, select the auto brake to max, make sure that our speed brake is armed, so just verify those positions over here, speed brake armed, and the transponder is set to XPDR, weather radar on, and finally we are going to carry out the takeoff contact test, which is the button down here and watch that we get takeoff config test normal. And now it's time to complete the before takeoff checklist down to the line. So we have flight controls, checked, briefing, confirmed, slats flaps, 15, 15, performance FMAs, checked and read. At that point we're just reading out those again, so we have performance climb armed, enough armed. Takeoff config checked, transponder set before takeoff checklist complete down to the line. Again, approach in the turn, slow the plane down, maximum 10 knots. And watch how I'm once again oversteering. When you're going through the turn, you have to develop that feeling for where your main gear actually is, because the main gear marks the point around which the aircraft is turning on the ground. So that is how you can develop your technique on um, actually taxing the airplane correctly. Of course, occasionally going to the outside view to check that you are going where you are supposed to go is always a good idea while you are developing that feeling. We are now approaching the holding point of runway 26 right, so it is time to prepare our aircraft for the departure. So, brake fan off, that one's down here, lights set, so we're gonna turn the landing lights on, the strobe lights on and the nose light into the takeoff position. Ignition as required, so continuous ignition up here, remember is advised if you have um, strong precipitation or if you have um, expected turbulence. Packs as required. We are going to keep our packs on for the takeoff. And finally set the transponder into TARA. And while you're doing that, don't forget that you're still taxing the airplane and complete your runner, or rather your lineup. When you have the lineup actions complete, it's time to call for the before takeoff checklist below the line. So, cabin, secure, TGAS, TARA, packs on, ignition off, anti ice off. Before takeoff checklist complete, and with that, we are ready for our departure. But that one is going to be a topic for another video, so thank you very much for watching. If you want to support the channel, leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And finally, if you really like my videos, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me a Coffee link that you can find in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching, and see you all on the next one.